This is the one agent every admin that manages SharePoint needs. It was announced at Ignite. I'm going to break down this brand new SharePoint admin agent and all the different things it can do, at least all the things that I've found so far. It's really powerful. Let's get into it. So first off, where do we find this thing? Well, it's a SharePoint admin agent. So we're going to go straight to the admin center. And all you need for this is one Copilot license assigned in your organization. That is it. Doesn't even have to be assigned to you. As long as one is assigned, you're covered. You'll find this on the right hand side. You'll see the Copilot button. Click on it and it pops right out, just like it would for a SharePoint agent, but this is just for you admins. And it's got a few starter prompts. We can uh, find sites out, and then it suggests some additional context here as well. So what types of sites do you want it to find? You could learn how to do admin tasks, like creating an organization asset library, for instance. It'll give you the PowerShell commands to run to do that. Unfortunately, it won't actually create it for you, not just yet. I think that's going to come as the uh, the official Microsoft MCP servers kind of get more, more fleshed out and more robust. You can also re recap relevant info from across the admin center. Let's just try that because that's kind of the most vague one. So we could just click on this. It copies the prompt down into the prompt box. And... And then we click on send. While we're waiting on this, this is not even close to the full set of features that this thing will have. These are just prompts to get you started. You're going to find out a lot more things of what this can do just by experimentation. The response has come back. It gives us any information from the service health category. In this case, there's no issues that are found, but there are nine advisories. I can click on this and get more information on the advisories and there's even a button to go straight to the service health section message center uh, 170 out of 474 messages seem highly relevant to my organization so this is really interesting how it will tell you what are the most important things to you because this admin agent does have access to your tenant configuration it kind of knows how you're using SharePoint in this case. And then M365 Copilot usage insights. We can see more information here. Uh, how many licenses, my, uh, licenses I've got assigned and other Copilot adoption information. And then a link to go to the Copilot control system, which of course is in the Microsoft 365 admin center. Now I'm going to cover a lot more things, but just so you know, right now, as of the, as of the date of recording, the new admin center agent is in public preview. Uh, so you do have it available if you were to try and use that. But just be aware, it's public preview. There's going to be some bugs in this. And you want to just, you know, try it out. Don't do don't try and do anything too crazy with it because it could make mistakes. And protecting your data is the most important thing for you at this point. But when it comes to protecting your data, you also want to think about backups. And that takes us into this week's sponsor. Think your cloud data is safe just because it's in Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace? Think again. Accidental deletions, ransomware, and compliance gaps can still put your business at risk. AFI is a next-gen backup and recovery platform built for modern cloud environments, including Microsoft 365, Google Workspace, Azure, AWS, and Kubernetes. It offers full fidelity restores, encrypted full text search, version history, and even self-service recovery. So users can get back data without waiting on IT. And when ransomware hits, AFI detects it early and automatically backs up your data before damage is done. Over 10,000 organizations trust AFI to protect their cloud data. If you care about uptime, compliance, and peace of mind, it's time to back up smarter with AFI. Now, one other thing that uh, I want to point out, and it's a little subtle here, but you can click on uh, down here at the bottom, there's a view prompts button, and you can get, you know, a little bit more contextual information like find sites, and then it starts to give you some more examples. So if you're not the best with Copilot prompting and coming up with what, like, what, what should I ask, you know, that is not a a skill set that we we peep, we generally have uh, it's not something i have i i'm not the most creative person so it's i struggle a little bit sometimes to get 
the ideas in my head of what types of things to ask for uh, just to try and push the limits of what this can do or just to see what the basics are that this thing can do. But we can say uh, find sites with um, over a gigabyte of storage use. So we can click on this and send it. And obviously you could change one gigabyte to whatever amount you want. If you want one terabyte of storage, you can do that. If you want half a gig, 512 megs, you could do that, but you'll probably get a whole lot of sites from that. In this case, I don't have any sites that have over one gigabyte of storage. You know, this is my test tenant, so I don't have a ton of big files or probably any big files at this point. But you do have a lot of other things in here you can ask. Um, you could get guidance on particular things. Now, I'm guessing everything as far as the guidance goes is coming from Microsoft Learn site. I know there is a Microsoft Learn MCP server that was announced at Ignite and is probably being leveraged by this agent. But we could say um, we could ask it how to find sites that were that are overshared. And it's going to give us some good uh, guidance from this official guidance from Microsoft. And actually, in this case, it's telling us sites that are potentially overshared uh, because in this case, it is looking at the external sharing flag. We were asking for guidance. It misinterpreted that for find all the sites where I could have oversharing. So it's looking for external sharing on external sharing on. And yeah. That's that's exactly the criteria it was using for this. But it is neat because it gives us a lot of information on each of these sites. We don't have to go digging through the all sites screen anymore. We don't have to even use SharePoint events management because this can give us the information really, really quickly. Now, you may want to go into to SAM SharePoint events management and dig a little deeper into some of these things, because from SAM, you can apply some policies um, a lot more easily than you could from from here anyway. But we can see how many files are on here, the last activity date, uh, when the site was created, we get links to go straight to that site. So that is really, really helpful if you're getting started, um, if you're getting your your organization ready for Copilot, is handling things like oversharing. One of the biggest issues with any organization adopting any AI product right now is the whole oversharing thing because AI can find information so easily. And if you're getting value from this video so far, then click that like button. And if you learn two new things so far in this video, then consider subscribing. It's just a free way to help me out, support my channel, and so I can continue giving you free content just like this video. Now, here's another great prompt I think that would be very useful for a lot of people. And I'll just paste it in here right now. Find the top five sites with the most storage used. Highly, highly useful in any organization of any size is just understanding like what, what are those top sites that are using up just so much storage. So we'll wait for this to return. And now it gives us the, exactly what we've asked for. The top five sites. It tells us when they're created, exactly how much storage is used all the way down to the byte level. And as a nice little bonus, it also is telling us if there's external sharing enabled or not. So I've got one site with external sharing on the others or there's, and there's one other one. So two out of the five have external sharing and I can see how many, um, well, how much storage these things are taking. So if I need to maybe clamp down uh, or or have a have a talk with that site owner that, you know, they, they need to go back and kind of look to see what content can they uh, can they clean up to start to reduce that storage footprint that their site is taking up. This is a really quick way to find that out. Another great prompt is going to be finding out which sites haven't even been used in the last month. Really, really handy one so that you can start to identify those orphaned sites or sites that just that may not be used. And instead of the last month, you could have you could say in the last year and it would find it there as well. So you could start to trim down that list of sites that you've got in, uh, in in your environment. And of course, in true Microsoft fashion, an unexpected error had occurred retrieving the information. I told you this is in public preview. It's not going to be perfect, but let's let's just try this one more time. Let's give it one more shot. Come on, Microsoft. I know you can come through for me. And once again, at least it's consistent, right? At least it's consistent. Uh, I have tried this prompt uh, earlier when I was planning out this video. The prompt will work, 
Apparently, it just doesn't want to work right now. So maybe it needs another cup of coffee. It is early in the morning on a Friday. So maybe it's just not that eager to work. But this should give you a good idea of things you could start to ask that agent. Uh, right now, it does seem to be very tailored to retrieving information, but I would expect this because it will be using MCP servers behind the scenes that it will start to have right functionality. You'll be able to start updating uh, information and, and that's going to really speed up your job as an admin. It certainly is showing you the power of Copilot agents if you're not familiar with those. And if you are, and you're trying to kind of understand how do you get started with building your own agents, I've got a Copilot agent roadmap completely free. You'll see a link in the description down below. So grab that. And if you want to see another cool Copilot agent video, then just click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there.